Well, Mary, I guess you should have written Tanya's initials on that gun, eh? Because if you knew what happened to your daddy, you would be pretty pissed. And that's one thing I liked about this episode, is it wasn't afraid to show us the feels of this character who was obviously a fodder. We saw him in the first episode. We saw how fodderized he got. He took the L so quick in the first episode that I, I thought that he basically just learned his lesson. But to see him come back and when he noticed Tanya, I don't know why I thought it was funny, but when he noticed Tanya, he's like, why is she here? To the point of where it's like, he just gave up. He was just like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fucking try and kill myself. I'm just gonna fucking try. And in a way, it was kind of funny, but at the same time, it was pretty impactful as well because I totally forgot about this guy. And literally, when Tanya was like, well, I've seen this guy before, after we literally had most of the episode, like, kind of based around him, the episode opened with him and his daughter and the presents and the snowing and shit. Oh my God. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Welcome to Otago. Chris is talking. That is probably my longest opening yet maybe who knows yes i am back to do my yoja senkai anime reviews um things have been all over the place i did the like an update video where i was kind of explaining what what will happen i'm recording on my phone right now and uh, that's how it is and until my laptop gets fixed and sorted not gonna stress about it because there's no point stressing about anything that you can't really speed up so yeah back to this review this was a really good episode um because of certain different things, we got to see Tanya once again, like, see her interacting with her higher-ups, with her superiors, and she's, her, her cheekiness is really kind of like, it, it's kind of just, it's, it's getting, it's, it's going further and further. Before it was like, okay, she, like, everyone knew she was fucking batshit crazy, and some of the generals and stuff, she had like, that level of respect and authority, uh, well, respect to high authoritative figures and stuff but now it's like she knows how to be a bitch whilst being very respectful and that's something that i've really grown to love about tanya throughout the series as every episode has gone on before we see her in a monologue we see how she really fought and she's kind of be kind of quiet and not quiet but she's kind of keep her opinions to herself and we used to be like okay we know that tanya is scheming something but we don't know what and then it got to a point where when being x kind of um became the more center point for those two episodes which I personally think is the better part of this series is the whole being X issue. But obviously this is a Seinen series, so it's not going to be the same as a Shonen series where being X would probably be at the forefront. Now in this series, being X is kind of like in the background and we focus more on Tanya and how she deals with the situation that being X has put her in. So personally, because I read a lot of Shonen, I, I like the BNX part, but because I'm trying um, my, my hardest to kind of get out there and read more Seinen series and understand different tropes that aren't going to be the same kind of things that you see in Shonen and shit, I'm, I'm really like liking this series. This series is something that um, I personally think was, was, I feel it was like looked down upon when it first started, but personally, I feel like this is one of the better ones of this season. Obviously, spring season anime, oh my goodness, can't wait. But this season, it, it's really good. The, sto the storytelling, especially how in this episode, we got to see it from this major fodder. We got to see it from his point of view for the first half. It opened up all nice and sweet. Mary's all giving her dad the gun with the initials and everything, and... Ah oh, man, them feels. I actually felt slight feels when he realised that Tanya was there. Oh my god, what the actual fuck? It was kind of crazy. And we got to see a lot more of um, Tanya having more input and influence on the battlefield. And we still get to see that a lot of the higher ups still like don't still feel awkward around her. Like they they understand that she's extremely talented and that she has a, a huge role to play in this war. But they're still testing her to see whether she's whether she's worthy. It's pretty crazy because I feel like she's proven herself to be worthy. And the fact that she even managed to work out what was going to be happening from her own level of genius, she realized what her own army was doing. Which makes me think, are there other people in this series who think on, on her level of like just fucking on her level of genius so like once once her once her side realized oh shit like she no 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 they didn't realize one of the guys was like how did you know our plans how did you know that we were going to come from the rear and oh that's shouldn't say that <laughs> oh that's a really weird sentence to say but we're going to appear from the rear once again i don't know these phrases phrasing archer love archer anyways so 
um, that like, how did how did you know our our plan? Who told you? Blah blah. And Tanya was like, told me. The fuck are you talking about? This is kind of like I figured it out. Um, so once again, this shows Tanya's level and and like it shows that she has a higher chance of, of progressing even further and further. The more she proves herself, the higher up she'll be. God knows where she'll be at the fucking end of this episode, end of the series. Um, so yeah, that was pretty cool. So we've got the characterization, more characterization with Tanya. We've got to see her interacting with, with other people. We've got to see the viewpoint of, of the war from someone else's perspective, which is really nice. It's, and it wasn't like, it was just like, ah, oh, he's going, he's shooting, all this kind of bullshit, or it's like a crazy slice of life. We actually got to almost, we actually got to have feels for this guy that we gave no fucks about in episode one. And in this episode, it's kind of like, oh man, he has a wife and kids. The, like, the daughter even gave him a gun, which is weird, but well, hey, the girls in this series are extreme badasses. So hey, fuck it. So yeah, man, this is this this is this episode. I I personally enjoyed it. Um, what was your favorite part of this episode? And do you think that the city of Ors that they took it, they took a they took a huge L. I mean, they they literally took a major 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 loss. I mean, that guy, the general guy, I, t- I forgot his name. I don't really give a fuck. He he was a fodder from episode one, but it's just it's unfortunate that Mary. I have to remember his daughter's name, Mary. Um, but basically, he's like. They, 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 yeah, they, they had it bad. They had it extremely bad. Um, like, I've the way the ships even came, and then he realized I am fucked. Like, what, what is happening? He was too busy focusing on Tanya and everything. And also, sorry, I'm fucking going all over the place. I like, I like, I like the little bit when he was praying to God, and he was like, "Oh God," um, and then he said his phrase, and then Tanya said her usual phrase, and they came together. And his eyes, I don't know if you noticed his eyes, the um. His eyes started going a bit yellow, kind of like how Tanya's does. So I was thinking, oh shit, maybe he has the same kind of thing that Tanya does. Doesn't, you he he just got taken out real quick. He's there wasting bullets, 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 bullets. And Tanya's just there like shank straight in the chest. Let me take a gun. That's a nice present for myself. I was like, god damn. <sighs> Anyways, that's my review. Um, It's a bunch of like words I pretty much put together. But if you enjoyed my review, enjoy my kind of stuff, do give me a subscribe, a like, and turn on that notification as you know when I make my videos. Normally my Yodra Senkai reviews are on a Friday, but I had to go see the bestie. You can follow me on Twitter and all my other stuff down below in the comment the comment box. Definitely not in the comment box. Why would I be giving you my shit in my comment box? In the description box, so you know when I'm doing what I'm doing. Hopefully, oh, soon I can start editing properly. I'm just doing one takes. Uh, I normally do one takes, but it's really hard doing one takes, knowing you're doing one takes, instead of just accidentally doing one takes. I am waffling on. Have a great day. Otaku Chris is talking. Peace.